is going on guys so i uh, just pulled in, in the parking lot of my gym uh had a little bit of a minor road rage incident don't worry i wasn't the one road raging some some guy didn't like how i was driving so he decided to make that verbal and i decided to chirp back like a good old-fashioned hockey player from letter kenny anywho i do not condone nor recommend that but I don't let I don't take stuff to my face. So today is deadlift day, which requires me to start warming up by getting my adductors and abductors warmed up. There's no machines in my gym, so I typically just use bands. Then after that, I'm gonna be using SSB uh, box squats right before I do my deadlifts. And then after that, I'll be hitting a PR today on deadlifts. Goal is 420, 43. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna be dropping the weight, adding some bands and doing some tempo work. Then once I'm all done with the tempo work, I'm gonna be moving on to, what was it? glute bridges so some heavy glute bridges because i need that proper glute drive not just for my deadlifts but also for my squats and honestly everyone should be able should do that and i won't be using a dumbbell because a i'm actually getting to that point where i am a little too big to fit under a dumbbell and then b my gym has a machine for it so if your machine so if your gym has a machine for it i would 100 percent recommend you use that or you can use a band as well because while barbells are nice and all you can't always use a barbell and in my case you can't always fit under one um and then once i'm done with that i'm going to be moving on to my back because that's still some posterior chain exercises i'm going to be doing some barbell rows and then after that i'm going to be doing some lat pull downs followed by dumbbell shrugs and then i'm going to finish that all off with some farmer's carries uh, i'll be going a little more into farmer's carries because i actually highly recommend that exercise to anyone and everyone because it's one of the best exercises in general so enough said there i'm gonna be slamming this pre real quick and then let's get into it Fame, yeah. Cash in the bag, stay 
city unpacked Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up, cash in the bag City unpacked, baby, I'm bad Overshot my uh, explosive lift today by about 20 pounds, but this is my not maxing out week, but max effort week, max effort week. So, coach said if it feels good, go for it. And even though squats didn't feel too hot, trade off was deadlifts were feeling amazing because I got 440, 440 for three solid reps. So, super happy with that. And now it's back down sets. And uh, for those of you who like to deadlift with bands but have uh, crappy deadlift platforms, like I do, uh, no offense to higher mongers, uh, they're just well used. Uh, here's, a, here's a neat little trick you can use to actually get a band on a deadlift bar without having to use the hooks or if you only have one band, like I do in this scenario. Change into a better frame, into a better name Society's insane, we all live for fame yeah. Yeah, Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, baby, I'm bad So grabbed the wrong band on the first one, as you can see. So lightened up the band a little bit. Uh, main point of this is just kind of focusing on that lockout with extra weight. But I think the weight itself might be a bit heavy, but it is what it is. Today is not exactly the most full to program level day, but. It's moving well, okay. I got four more shots. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crash it in my car. Wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar. Just on my avatar, this world is so bizarre. Empty out the reservoir. Yeah, I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way. So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay. I think I'm going crazy, don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy, don't think I'm about to pop up Fuck you, you're lost We all know that we never really want a boss So I'ma do what I want 
to Something I can't undo Yeah, I'ma do what I want to Something I can't undo I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, now I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe I'm taking six shots I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic Go! to last with the webs I'm weaving I can change the past with all the Oh Back is interesting It's one of those workouts where you go in wearing a shirt that fits, and then halfway through, you gotta gotta take it off or partially unbutton it. Uh, but yeah, as you, as you saw, I switched up the uh, grips from like a forearm grip to just the standard straight bar, just to kind of focus more on scalp retraction. Also because just, I just did deadlifts. I don't need, really need to train my forearms that much. I don't use straps or anything like that. So what I'm doing right now is going to work perfectly. But yeah, three more sets. And then I unfortunately will not have time for farmer's carries. Deadlifts took a lot longer than I thought they would. So after this, I got to get to work. There we go. Well, workout went amazing. Oh, got a 20 pound rep PR on deadlift. So I got 440 for three reps. Then for the tempo, that took a little bit longer just because training at a powerlifting gym like a legit powerlifting gym can sometimes get a little distracting not in like the oh people are distracting me way but like I'll be helping out someone with unloading unracking spotting stuff like that and they'll do the same for me and then we'll end up having conversations on like upcoming meets and all that jazz so my workout did run a little bit long but it's no biggie. Honestly, I enjoy every second of it. It's super fun. I love the community aspect. And that's honestly why I still go and pay for commercial, uh, not commercial gyms, powerlifting gyms. It's not just the awesome equipment, it's the community. Cause like I've trained at commercial gyms and I've trained at like commercial gyms where there was a tight niche community, but I've also trained at commercial gyms where there's like no community. And like there's maybe like a minuscule community. But the one thing I will say that I enjoy about powerlifting gyms the most though is the fact that I'm not the biggest fish in the sea. And I'm not saying that arrogantly. 
like at my commercial gyms, I wasn't the strongest, but I was the power lifter. Like I was the guy known to be squatting a lot of weight. I was the guy known to be deadlifting a lot of weight. Like matter of fact, even though I worked at that gym, I would have people complain like, could you not deadlift so loud at my old gym? Cause we had a, um, and I, I never yelled. I had a friend who yelled and he'd get in trouble, but I would never yell at that gym. But the thing that was funny was like a few days after I would do that, they'd come up to me and like, there was this young man who was yelling on, who was go, being really loud on deadlift. And I'm like, pretty sure that was me. They're like, no, no, no. And then they look and they're like, oh, it was you. I'm like, yeah, unfortunately there's no policy against deadlifting. There's policy against slamming weights, which I didn't. And there'd be just that whole argument, but yeah, all in all, deadlifts went great. I ended up doing glute bridges, but like totally forgot to film that. Uh, it was no biggie. Um, honestly, I only went to like, I want to say it was like 200 ish pounds, not a lot of weight. I just did it for high rep. I'm trying to get stronger with those to maybe get it to like four plates. But the only sucky part is that machine is so worn that like you're essentially doing it on bare metal, like that's covered in leather. So it's a little uncomfortable. Like honestly, I could probably get up, still get up to four plates on that, but it would just be like very, very uncomfortable and just crunchy, which uh, the idea of uh, anything being crunchy when metal is on bone is a horrifying thought. And then, yeah, and then I ended up doing um, my back rows. That felt amazing. I also ended up doing some lat pull downs with a neutral grip. And then I wasn't able to, ha I didn't have enough time to do, um, I didn't have enough time to do my farmer's carries, um, but I will be doing a video on that in the future. Honestly, I'll probably end up doing my farmer's carries on my accessory day, just because in my opinion, farmer's carries are one of the most beneficial lifts you can do. Like honestly, if you can't like, if you can't do a deadlift, you can at least farmer's carry. Because if you farmer's carry, not only is it great for just getting that deadlift-like motion in a less compromising position, but it's also training everything in the posterior chain, your abdomen, everything like that, um, as well as your grip. And then if you go far enough with the walk with slightly lighter weight, it's a great cardio exercise. Like a lot of my clients, what I, what I, what I would have them do is I'd take a trap bar and some of the clients literally would just be with the bar and a set of tens, but I would make them walk and then occasionally if they were like good enough I would have them walk at a faster pace but and that would just it would take their breath away but it would also make them able to kind of like gauge where their strength was at and it was a great way to gauge that so that was a great thing there um all in all this week um this kind of uh redeemed myself on Monday because on Monday I did good on paper but I wasn't feeling good so I wasn't happy with that. Bench ended up being okay. What am I doing? But it wasn't like ideal. And that, but honestly, deadlifts today, I redeemed myself fully and truly. And that's one of the best days to do that, like on deadlifts. So yeah, um, tomorrow is going to be my shoulders and arms day. I normally would kind of save that for Saturday, but I will be spotting and loading at a uh, women's only powerlifting meet um, on Saturday, this Saturday in Northern San Diego. So can't really train that day. And then Sunday, I'm dedicating to actually head up back to my hometown um, and visit my mom, even though it's finals week, but my mom, I haven't been able to see my mom for a bit. So just want to see her like honest to God, I am a kind of a mama's boy. Honestly, I don't think any boy ever outgrows their mom. So yeah, but I'll be 
probably film in my arm session. I also, I'm trying to figure out, because I usually do two arm days, but it's been a little hard fitting that into my schedule, because uh, I usually try to do it after my squat day. Um, but nine times out of 10, it it's a little hard to do that time-wise. So I haven't been able to do it. I wasn't able to do it this week because I woke up late on Tuesday and Wednesday. So it wasn't a huge deal. Um, I still train arms regardless because I do strict curling. And that's something that's a little unique about me as a powerlifter. Because uh, most people, if you look at if you talk to powerlifters, most of them don't train arms. Or if they do train, or if they do train arms, nine times out of ten, they're only training triceps. And the only really way they're training their biceps is through back movements and curl-ups, which curl-ups is like the best back bicep exercise you can do in my opinion. But I do strict curling simply because of the fact that I like it, it's fun. I, When I was a little kid, I was always trying to curl like as much weight as I could because to me, I was always like that guy, was like, it was like curls for the girls. And I don't got the best arms. Because I didn't train properly, but nowadays I'm training properly. My arms are growing. Honestly, I'm feeling everything growing, which is awesome to see, awesome to feel. But yeah, so I'll be hitting arms tomorrow, uh, shoulders and arms tomorrow, with a little bit of tricep, um, with a little bit of chest focus on one of the exercises. Because one of the exercises is a uh, incline spoto press. But since it's close grip, it's a little more focused on the triceps, but I still get a little bit of bench focus out of it. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll be putting this out probably, I'd probably say four or five days from now. So hope you guys enjoy it. I am in the middle of trying to get my mic because my mic broke. That's what I get for buying a microphone for like, 28 bucks off of Amazon and like literally I could tell like immediately after I got it that it was like one of those like AliExpress microphones that like you can get for like maybe five bucks and then resell it like five times that so on me but it's whatever I'm looking for one with good battery life and one that's gonna be like just kind of easier to handle and not have to like worry about it dying getting jostled or breaking so if you guys know any good cameras, hit me up because I would 100% appreciate it. But yeah, anyways, I got some homework to do tonight. So that's going to be all for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, make sure to leave them. And then if you haven't, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. Any support helps me. So have a good one, guys.